Where were we? Ah, yes. Let's do strings. These are C and C++ style strings. And today we're going to look at the C version of it. It's a very primitive version of how to do strings. They're basically character arrays. The code you see, uh, you have in front of you, I've declared uh, two character arrays, one called word1, one called word2. Word1 is characterized by the brackets that tells it it's an array, but there's no number inside of it. What C++ does is it looks to the side and it says this is a, an array of uh, five characters, okay, and it must uh, leave a space, and I'll put this comment in there so you can see it, for the null character, which is the uh, backslash zero, okay, or I'll just put the quotes for backslash zero. Um, it puts that at the end after the E in this particular case to tell the language this is the end of this array. It doesn't put it in the last character, it just puts it after the last uh, non-space character. Same thing for down here, it's exactly the same setup, only here we've actually told it to save five characters. If we'd have told it more, it would have actually set aside that space, but I've only used the first five, and it would have put the uh, no character you know, right after the E. There is another way to do it. Okay? And the uh, other way to do that is to actually declare a pointer, which we will talk about later in the uh, course. And we will say, let me put this uh, character right here. Character. Oops. Character. Asterisk tells it's a pointer, and we'll call this uh, word 3. I'm not going to. Uh, give it uh, braces because it's a pointer it actually works the same way as the others exactly the same way it sets aside uh, five characters uh, and uh, stores it the address in word three and uh, puts the null character there so all these are identical all these are identical now I want to uh, show you something right here and this is a piece of code that I've got uh, set up already uh, to show you the difference. Um, I've got a comparison right here. Now you'll notice I don't get a syntax error on it, uh, and that's okay. Uh, but it's not comparing what you think it should be comparing. You think, well, it's going to compare word one with word two, and it's going to find them equal. And it's going to print out, ah, they're equal, uh, else, and I'll put the else in there, else, see out, not equal. And now, well, let's go ahead and uh, save this. Okay. And let's build it. Going to compile. No errors. Okay. And I'm going to run it. Okay. Debug. Start without debugging. <coughs> not equal not equal well why well they are blue is equal to blue why didn't it do that that's because this is not comparing the characters inside the array it's comparing the address since arrays are pointers it's looking to see if the addresses are the same they're not the same so it's going to be equal well how do you compare character arrays well we'll show you that in the next video the other thing you can't do is this and I'll show you I'll show you this way of doing it Uh, I can't do this. I can't say uh, word one is equal to word two. Now this one I will get an error on. Okay, I'll get the little squiggly line right there. It says I can't give the value of word one, word two to word one. It's not uh, a reasonable thing to do. And why? It's because there is no. It's called a copy uh, construct, uh, uh, copy uh, uh, function. It's not going to copy the value from word two to word one. So I'm going to get an error right there. I have to use a function to do that. Again, I'm going to show you that in the next video. Well, let's show you a few other things. Let's show you how to read in the words here. And I'm going to leave those up there like that. And I'm going to show you how to read in words. Input uh, entry word colon. And we'll put the uh, semicolon there. Oops. Put it in the right place. It'll work there. I just like to put them at the end of the sentence. And then we're going to say CN, and we're going to read it into word one. 
Okay, and uh, C out. Uh, entered. And then we will print it out and see what's entered. Okay, word one. Okay, and we're going to show you how to do this. We're going to uh, build it, build solution. There it is, six is, and we're going to run without debugging. Enter a word, and we'll just say hello. That's five letters. This says oh, unit hello. Whoop. Okay, that was an error. Don't worry about that. Okay, very good. Well, let's try something a little bit more uh, complex. I'm going to say. Uh, uh, character line and we'll set aside 80 characters which means it can hold 29 and we're going to say enter in a word and we're going to read in line I'm going to show you what happens with a larger line and then we'll just replace all of this alright we got everything right there very good okay we'll build it build solution Compiled OK. Start without debugging. And we're going to enter in more than one word. Okay, it's 80 characters, 79 I can store. What's it going to do? We hit enter, and you'll see that it only actually entered in more. It looked at more. And what it did was it looked and found, went until it found a space, or a delimiter in this case, and stopped right there. It says, well, that's what you want to do. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can fix that. Let's uh, use, I've got IOMANIP up here. I can use set with. So let me do this. Let me say, um, let me uh, set with, let me say 79 characters. Let's see if I can get them all in there with that. Okay. Oops, make point them in the right direction. There we go. Very good. Everything looks good. We will build it. Build solution. Start without. Oh, let's wait till it finishes. There we go. Start without debugging. Enter in a word. This is a longer sentence, and you'll see it still only did the this. Okay. C N without any other modifications is going to actually go until it finds a single word separated by a space or other a delimiter and it's going to read that in so how do we read in uh, more than one word in other words a whole line including all the characters and delimiters commas and semicolons and things like that well it's done like this okay it's done like this what we do is we use a, kind of a, a C++ feature it's an object oriented feature and we'll say get line and what get line does is it ignores the paces and it will go until it sees a specific character that we tell it to and we're going to say line and we'll say 79 characters okay and then we'll actually tell it uh, what we want to uh, be the the ending character in this particular case it is the end of line character this is the default for it so uh, if we don't put that in there if we leave it off that's what it's going to say Okay, then we're going to turn around and we're going to print it out. Okay, let me go ahead and put in a uh, end, of, end of line right there so it formats it. Let me build this project. I think it will build okay. Don't see any errors. Looks good. Okay, start with that debugging. And this is a really long sentence entered period and there this is a really long sentence entered period press any key to continue so that's how we enter in a, a very very long string of characters okay very good well um, practice this uh, a couple of times till you get it till you get it good I, I urge you to write code all the time every day uh, and the next thing we're going to go do is we're going to go into the actual uh, different functions that we're going to need to do copies and concatenations and comparisons and they're they're a little complex and you're going to have to look at those uh, in quite a bit of detail. Well, very good. Well, on to the next video.